Just before 10 a.m. Tuesday, police shot and killed 25-year-old Brandon Jones and 25-year-old Chelsea Porter after police say they refused to surrender and then pointed guns, which turned out to be BB guns, at Fugitive Task Force officers. New information shows one state trooper, three Cecil County Sheriff's deputies, and six Elkton police officers opened fire. It's very difficult for police officers to know what they're dealing with, especially in split-second situations where they have to make a decision. Greg Shipley with the Maryland State Police told 11 News officers knew in this situation that they were serving warrants on people known to have guns. Jones was accused even of previously shooting at someone, so they had to assume that the gun Jones pointed at the task force was real. When our trooper uh, was at the door knocking on that door, uh, he saw the male suspect pulled the curtain back with a gun in his hand and heard him say, I have a gun. These are split second decisions that need to be made to prevent violence to themselves, to others, uh, and uh, possibly even the suspects. Dr. Jeffrey Ian Ross, a criminologist at the University of Baltimore, says officers are constantly being put in these difficult situations, trying to determine if a gun is real. But the bottom line is officers must use necessary force to try and get the suspects into custody. Police officers don't want to be second guessing uh, themselves when they themselves are shot, their colleagues are shot, or innocent civilians or passerbys or people who are within reach uh, get injured because of their failure to act appropriately. In the Elkton shooting, police say that's exactly what the officers had to deal with. There was every reason uh, in their mind to believe that they had a real gun. Now, all of the officers involved have been placed on routine administrative leave. Both of the suspects were wanted for multiple felony gun and drug charges. We're live at the Maryland State Police headquarters in Pikesville tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.